Hey guys, my name is Zilo Milo, and today we're going to show you how to fly like a pro. This is the Advanced Piloting Guide. Advanced piloting consists of three main functions, from easiest to hardest, starting from turning, then power modes, and finally direct control. First, let's explain the advanced way of turning by using your offhand and drop keybind, by default Q and F. While holding your clock in a piloted ship, you can turn left and right. Q is for left and F is for right. The reason this is advanced is because when turning left and right, you might get disoriented. With direct control, you might not know where you're facing and you might get lost in the middle of battle. So practice knowing where you are by turning left and right. Now let's explain power modes. You can use signs or even the command slash PM slash PD slash power mode or slash power distribution. What this allows us to do is redirect the starship's power to particle shields, weapons, and thrusters. To see more about power modes, watch the power modes tutorial. For now, we'll focus on the thrusters aspect of the power modes. The lowest you can set your ship's thrusters to is 10% and the highest you can set it to is 50%. What this changes is the acceleration of your starship, the rate at which you speed up. With a high thruster percentage, you can cruise to your top speed really fast. With a low thruster percentage, you accelerate very slowly and it takes a bit longer to reach your top speed. Same goes with deceleration. It might take a while to slow down if you have a low thruster power distribution. Here is a side-by-side -side of two of the same ships accelerating at the same time, but with different power modes. Now that we understand thruster power modes, we can get to the second part of the tutorial, direct control. This turns a starship from a ship that moves left and right into a mode where it only moves forward, just like a real life jet fighter. The way the ship identifies forward and backwards is based off of where the main amount of thrusters are facing. Something to think about when you're in Slash DC is that you can't move around your ship like you were once able to. Don't worry, the way to move around your ship again is to disable direct control by typing Slash DC again. When we are in direct control mode using using slash DC, you can control the speed at which you push yourself forward. The first slot allows you to reverse, the second is to be at zero speed, and the third through ninth slots are increments of your top speed. To go the fastest as possible, you want to scroll your mouse wheel to your ninth slot and hold shift. Shift gives you a speed boost. Going forward isn't the only thing DC allows you to do. With direct control now activated, you can use your WASD keys to strafe left, right, up, and down. A is left, D is right, S is up, and W is down. Try not to get confused with the W and S keys. Think about it like this. You pull up to go up, meaning you press the button closer to you to pull up, which is S in the WASD configuration. Using the WASD movements, strafing is a good way to get out of enemy fire or allow you to get a better line of sight on the enemy. So in both ways, WASD strafing allows you to evade, but it can also allow you to pursue. So now that we are going the fastest we can, let's see how different power modes affect us while turning. With our thrusters power at max 50%, you can see we turn quite quickly. Sharp turns mean we can escape the enemy's weapons and sights quicker. With our thrusters power at a minimum 10%, you can see it takes quite a while for us to actually fly in the direction we look. It's almost like we are drifting through space. With a low thrust, we can drift sideways, shooting at large ships without getting hurt. But beware, it takes a while for you to accelerate to top speed again. Another thing to note is that direct control only works for ships smaller than a frigate and medium freighter. Now that you know how to turn well, use your power modes to your advantage and fly in direct control, you can now fly like a pro. Don't worry if you don't get the hang of it quickly as most people need practice to understand how to fly in such an advanced way. You can use this guide to learn how to evade enemy fire and create your own offensive striking tactics. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and watch the rest of the tutorial videos. I'll see you guys later.